Hello everybody and today I'm going to tell you how I came out as MTF transgender. I got asked this question over my Instagram and I thought, how come I haven't covered this? One moment. <laughs> how did I come out then? How did I come out? I came out one evening. Let me set the mood. It was early 2014. I was watching videos. <laughs> Just so happened that I came across a coming out video. I was studying something about gay coming out stuff. And the reason was, I was feeling kind of comfortable. I think, I think comfortable is the kind of words I should use. I wasn't stressed, I was in an okay mood, fairly stable, and knew if anything went wrong, I would be in a position to do something about it. At this point, I had already come out as non-binary. I'd come out as pansexual as well. I wasn't expecting anything bad from my parents, but still, I decided to come out that evening. I went into my bedroom and I wrote a note. Now the note was a bit dodgy. I can't, I can't remember exactly, but it was some kind of poem. And it was something about male genitalia and how it made me feel and how it would want to like rip me up inside and puke and stuff like that. Yeah, kind of graphic. Anyway, I wrote the note and I went downstairs and I tried to give it to my parents, but I just couldn't. It wasn't quite right. I went back up to my room, got a hoodie on, and got prepared for the cold. I went back downstairs, threw the note, and ran out the door. I ran and I ran for a solid maybe an hour. And I planned to sleep the night underneath a bench. So I lay there under this bench for hours. Suddenly I saw the flashing blue lights. It was the police car. They had been searching for me for two hours. I was cold. I was scared. I was fearful. In the end, I was reluctant. I went into the police car and they took me home. I cried. At the door of my house, my mum and dad were standing there, fearful. Kai was there as well. Two policemen holding both my arms. I was like this. And they were like... I didn't bother to try and fight it. When the, I got in, the police asked me bunches of questions, hundreds and hundreds of questions of where I'd been, what did I think, what was going through my mind. I just couldn't answer them. When the police left in about half an hour later of me just denying any questions, I told my parents, saying, what did you think of the note then? They said, what note? My face dropped. It went blank. I went pale. I said, the note about me. They said they didn't see a note. And I looked onto the ground where I threw it, and it was gone. I said, it must have been there. It was there when I threw it out before I ran. I suddenly ignored my parents and they were wondering what I was doing. They were worried if I was going to run again. And I searched for that note the entire, maybe an hour looking for the note. And my parents just watching me and I found it. It had gone underneath the dressing table and my parents never saw it. They never even read it. They didn't understand why I had run away. And I said, this note. And I dropped it on the table and I ran upstairs. I cried. About half an hour later, my mum came up and she said to me, it's okay, it'll be all right. She hugged me, she kissed me, and she said she loved me. The next day, she didn't want me to go to school. She said I had to stay home. And I just spent the whole day in bed. She went to work that day and then she came home and she said to me, 
Come to the lounge. I'll see you in ten minutes. So I decided to go down to the lounge when she asked me to. And she was there with her laptop. She had H&M open. Me being very kind nowadays to H&M. You'll see where this comes from. I was wondering what she was doing. And she said, What dress size are you? And there and then, she brought me a dress. Of course I looked horrible in it. I had the boy in the dress kind of look. But I knew from that moment that she accepted me and she loved me. And I knew she would always love me. And to this day she still loves me. And that is how I came out as MTF. But they love me and accept me. All of my family do. Family, friends have gone. Friends have gone. I had to get a whole new bunch of friends. But that is how I came out. It wasn't the most greatest of stories, but that is how I came out. People ask me and think it was just okay. It was, but there's so much more impact to it. So thank you guys for watching, and remember as always, like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video, and on that note, good night. Goodbye. Goodbye. It's goodbye. It's like midnight, but... You can't tell, but it is goodbye, not night.